Hey guys, it's uh, Lance Away here. Um, wanted to share with you guys an unboxing of uh, Atmax's goods. Uh, I took advantage of their order $500 or over and get free shipping. So I have that to show you. And then um, I did Skype with a gentleman the other night and he sent me a few items. Um, uh, his name is uh, Rocky315W here on YouTube. And I found out a lot about him. Uh, you know, he's a man of uh, many talents. He's a painter. He's a collector, an investor, you know, he's into fossils. Um, he actually penned two comics, and I'll just uh, show you the covers. Um, one is Howard Stern, The Unauthorized Lampoon, so that's pretty neat. Um, and then uh, Rocky's Inferno, and um, I guess it's uh, set back in the 60s, and I guess this is one of four, so... Uh, hopefully that was a success, uh, success for Rocky and he got those through. Um, just on the side note, I do have uh, a little bit of masking tape on top of the uh, labels here because they contain uh, some addresses. So um, one thing I want to just mention is, you know, you want to respect people's personal information. Uh, if someone sends you a trade or a prize from, you know, a contest on YouTube, uh, definitely black out the address. Uh, a lot of people are keeping their um, private lives separate from their YouTube public life. Um, so, you know, just be real cognizant of that. Uh, a lot of people are uh, showing you all their stacks. Um, you know, lots of silver, uh, tons of gold out there. And, um, you know, you don't want people showing up to your house. Um, you know, a lot of us don't have P.O. boxes, you know, where they can keep all their stuff private. So if someone, uh, you know sticks themselves out there and, and sends you a prize, definitely black the address out or cut it off the box, uh, something to that effect. And then, you know, just a, a little bit of trading etiquette. If, you know, someone sends you out an item, definitely, uh, you know, reciprocate, send them something back. And um, if you guys are doing a trade, you know, you want to really send that stuff out fast. There's there's nothing worse than, you know, sending some good, valuable coinage out or silver out and then waiting on the other person to come through. I mean, you could be waiting, uh, you know, two weeks uh, to get, uh, you know, reciprocation on your trade to, you know, make sure the other person came through. Um, you know, maybe the etiquette should be if uh, whoever has the most subs, you know, you wait on the person who doesn't have as many uh, subscribers to their YouTube channel. And that way, you know, it's it's who's got the, the bigger reputation to lose. So, um you definitely know that uh, maybe the other person will come through and then um, the person with a good re reputation, uh, their reputation basically stands uh, alone and uh, you know they're going to follow through with uh, whatever their word is on the trade. So it's all on uh, good faith, so uh, just uh, my soapbox uh, speech for the day. And, um, you know, I really wanted to thank Rocky for uh, sending those out. So I actually have a package of a little something I'm going to send Rocky out. Hopefully he'll like it. Um, now on to the silver. Let me adjust the camera here. I'll just show you what I picked up. Nothing real crazy, nothing you haven't seen before, but um, some of this is new to me. And uh, I love it. I love every bit of it. So starting with the 2013 Silver Eagle. I actually got three of these suckers. Um, I don't know how many of them are, are minted. Uh, definitely in the several millions. Uh, I know uh, that first week they uh, sent them out. I mean, I guess they, they broke the bank, and so to speak, and, and ran out of these things. So uh, the U.S. Mint has suspended it, and luckily I have three. <laughs> Just three. Um, Canada Maple Leaf kind of a staple in uh, a lot of people's collections. I only have uh, another one, so that brings my count of maple leaves up to two. But this is uh, the current year and um, fine example of a, a bullion coin, of course. Here is another scratched up 2013 Britannia. This will probably be uh, my last uh, BU uh, Britannia. If I do pick one up, uh, as some other people suggested, uh, like Golden Pharaoh or Silverfish, um, I will probably pick up an MS-69. Uh, so I can be assured that uh, it's blemish-free. 
picked up a uh, 2012 one ounce Libertad, followed by a, a chunky two ounce Libertad. Um, I think the two ounce is my favorite coin uh, as far as a, a two ounce example, the Libertad is. It's real thick uh, in comparison to its uh, diameter. Once you get to the, the two ounce lunar coins, they tend to be a little bit bigger, um, but the, the thickness goes down as a result of that. So uh, as far as a thick coin, robust coin, I, I really like this one. And then we have a couple of uh, current year pandas. Those are nice. A couple of current year kookaburras. Really uh, gorgeous, gorgeous coin, and this will look great in 1080p. <laughs> and then going back in time, I started stacking in 2012, uh, late in 2012, so I didn't really have much uh, from previous years, so I wanted to kind of round out my collection, make it feel a little older. Here is a 2010 Kookaburra, and... Um, the designs were a little bit more uh, realistic as far as a, a lifelike uh, bird. So, fine example there. Going back a little bit further, we have a 2007 Kookaburra. Very nice. And then, last but not least, I have a 2005 Kookaburra. So just a few uh, previous year examples to, um, I guess, give my collection a little bit of, uh, little bit of time and uh, variety. So 15 new ounces to add to my collection. Um, Silverfish, if, uh, if I haven't sent you uh, an update recently, I got 41 and a half ounces, so that's 60 ounces there. And then another 15 that gets me to 75 ounces in January of 2013. All right, this is Lance Away Update. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys' uh, subscribes, likes, and comments. And certainly look forward to um, my next unboxing. I should have something for you in the next week or so. Thanks a lot.